Hi, Dr. Windish again from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Bet you're not used to seeing me in this position. <laughs> uh, this is part of our ongoing educational series for professionals. Today we're talking about how to give an IV push. Uh, I am currently experiencing the joys of kidney stones, so Pat is about to give me some Toradol. So first she's going to draw up the medication. She's already prepped the vial with some alcohol just to clean it off. And... Um, then she's going to uh, withdraw the medication. If you're using a multi-dose vial, you need to inject air first so that you don't build up a vacuum. In a single-dose vial, that's not quite as important. Here in a small pediatrician's office where we're not doing IVs all day, every day, we don't have the really expensive um, IV pumps, so everything's got to be given via a push. So Pat has prepped the port, and this is just a lure lock port, so she's going to screw it in. Now you're going to see she's clamping off the upstream flow, and she's going to push it slowly, let a little bit of fluid in. She'll clamp off the upstream flow again and push. It's important to go very slowly with medications. Some medicines you need to go slower than others. But in general, go slow with medications because they can all drop blood pressure, cause all sorts of vital sign changes cause extravasation into the tissue, etc. Good. And as you, as, uh, you saw, uh, Pat cleaned the little connection port really well with alcohol before um, IV push. And that is always very important. And My favorite, it's... tape that onto the coat band. That's what I'm going to do. Just like that. And Toradol, of course, is uh, anti-inflammatory. It's what we kind of like to say, a liquid ibuprofen, and this, of course, takes effect faster since it's injected IV, so hopefully Dr. Windish will uh, feel better shortly. Oh, I hope so, and hopefully this has been educational for you, so if we can be of assistance, give us a call at 359-7111, that's area code 775. Uh, I'll see you next time.